Hi, I'm making this video for students who are studying Fundamentals of English Grammar by Betty Azar. Okay, um, this is a great book. Now, uh, today's lesson is going to help your listening and to help with you remembering, remembering the grammar. Okay, and this is going to be for Appendix, Appendix 1. Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are a lot of fun. Phrasal verbs are very useful for speaking, okay? Now, please remember with phrasal verbs, um, there's two types. You can separate and you can not separate. Now, today's verbs, you're able to separate. So, for example, um, you can say, I took my hat off, okay? You can also say, I took it off. You can also say, I took off my hat, okay? But, but, you cannot say, I took off it. That one you cannot say. It is a pronoun, and it cannot be on the outside, okay? Not the other side. Now, today is going to be about phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. Group A. Group A, okay? So the phrasal verbs we're going to talk about today are figure out, hand in, hand out, look up, make up, pick up, put down, put off, put on, take off. Throw away, throw out, turn off, turn on, wake up, and write down, write down. So I'm going to read you a story, and um, please listen. I'm going to read it two times, and then I have questions for you. You can write things down if you want, uh, but what most important is you get the answers for the questions. Answers for questions, okay? So I'm going to read the story two times, two times. Just listen, just listen, okay? Um, it, it write if you want, okay? But make sure you listen. Uh, I will put this in the description box after, and the answers, okay? Here's a story. Sorry. The teacher quickly walked through the door, saying nothing. She took her jacket off and angrily handed out the new homework assignment. She told the students that they had to figure out at what time the sun rises each morning, every day for two weeks. They were not allowed to look the answers up on the internet. The teacher wanted the students to notice that the time was slowly changing as winter was approaching. That night, Randy went home and set his alarm clock 5 a.m. This didn't make him happy. The next morning, he quickly turned his clock off so as not to wake up his parents. He made himself an egg for breakfast and waited for the sun to come up. It came up at 5.42, so he wrote the information down and went back to bed. He did this every day for two weeks. On the last day, the sun rose at 6.05. We say 6.05. You can say 6.05. Or you can say 5 after 6. Randy was proud of his achievement. He went to school that day and handed his homework in to the teacher. That night, he went home and threw his alarm clock out. Okay, one more time. The teacher quickly walked through the door, saying nothing. She took her jacket off and angrily handed out the new homework assignment. She told the students that they had to figure out at what time the sun rises each morning, every day for two weeks. They were not allowed to look the answers up on the internet. The teacher wanted the students to notice that the time was slowly changing as winter was approaching. That night, Randy went home and set his alarm clock for 5 a.m. This didn't make him happy. The next morning, he quickly turned his clock off so as not to wake up his parents. He made himself an egg for breakfast and waited for the sun to come up. It came up at 5.42, so he wrote the information down and went back to bed. He did this every day for two weeks. On the last day, the sun rose at 6.05. 6.05. Randy was proud of his achievement. 
He went to school that day and handed his homework in to the teacher. That night, he went home and threw his alarm clock out. Okay, questions, questions. Number one, number one. All you do is put down, is it A, B, C, or D? Okay, one, five questions. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you have to do five answers, five letters. Number one, how long was the homework assignment? How long was the homework assignment? A, one week. Two, B, B, two weeks. C, one month. D, two months. Okay. A, one week. B, two weeks. C, one month. B, two months. Okay. Number two. Number two. What did the teacher take off after she entered the classroom? A, her shoes. B, her jacket. C, her hat. D, her glasses. What did the teacher take off as she entered the classroom? A, her shoes. B, her jacket. C, her hat. D, her glasses. Okay, number three. What time did the sun rise on the first day? What time did the sun rise on the first day? A, 5.42. B, 5.24. C, 6.05. D, 5.14. A, 5.42, B, 5.24, C, 6.05, D, 5.14. Okay, all AM. Number four, number four. What was the name of the student in the story? What was the name of the student in the story? A, the story doesn't say. B, Andy. C, Randy. D, Frank. A. The story doesn't say. B. Andy. C. Randy. D. Frank. Okay. And last question, number five, number five. What did the student do with his clock at the end of the story? What did the student do with his clock at the end of the story? A. Put it off. B. Turned it on. C. Turned it off. D. Threw it away. Okay, you have to know your phrasal verbs, okay? A. Put it off. B. Turned it on. C. Turned it off. D. Threw it away. Okay, so take care. Good luck with your listening. Bye-bye.